We'll guide you through how to screen mirror your iPad to your PC and laptop. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to go and open up a web browser because we need to download and install an application for this. Personally, I use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you would like. And the application is called Lonely Screen. Just like this and go and search for it and then go to LonelyScreen.com. It's important to note that Lonely Screen is a paid application, but is a free trial which we can go and use to go and try it to go and see if we like it. So what it is going to do is go and turn your computer into an AirPlay receiver. So what we want to do is go and press on download just here and we can then go and download the free trial. You can go and see the pricing up here if you want to go and pay for it. But I'm going to start with the free trial for now. So let me go and tap on download. Once it's finished downloading, go and open up your file explorer. Here's the installer and we can go and run it. When you run the installer, it's going to do some downloads and then install. It's pretty simple, just follow the instructions. I've now installed Lonely Screen, so for now I'm gonna keep using the free trial. And then what you need to do is make sure you unblock it. I'll just press fix it like this, and then it should go and sort itself out. Now get your iPad just like so and make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network or just internet connection so the same router or same Wi-Fi booster. Then what you need to do is go and open up your control center on your iPad by dragging down on your battery and you can then go and press on the screen mirroring button which is the two sort of rectangles on top of each other and then it'll go and find a lonely screen. So go and click on it like this, it'll be circling. And then just like that, my iPad is now appearing on my computer, as you can see. You could do things like show photos or maybe go and open up a web browser and browse the web and that's it guys. And to stop it, just open your control center and then you can click on the screen mirroring button and press stop mirroring. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.